Hey, now you're talking my language. Now you're talking my language. Now you're talking my language. Now you're. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Wanawinta, and today I have a special guest with me. You know, Ta. Yes, uh, I met her when I was like one years old. So we've been knowing each other for a very long time. And today, obviously, she's a retrain because today we're teaching you guys how to speak drum roll. You know, I like drum rolls, y'all. We're gonna be teaching you guys how to speak to Yay! Yay! Okay, so we're gonna teach you guys some useful phrases and words. Perfect. Okay, so let's start with, you know, greetings. Um, if you guys want to say hi or, you know, we come in peace or something, <laughs> you can say something like salam. You know, it's a greeting that you would use to shake somebody's hand. Right. You do a little nod or something mm -hmm. for demonstration, like. Salam. 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 <laughs> yeah, so pretty simple first word. Okay. So, you know, if you guys want to say something like, how are you, to a male, female, or a group, you know, it's different. You know, right. different languages, there's different ways of saying different words. For like words. masculine, feminine. Yeah. So For male, it's keme aloha. For female, it's keme alohi. And plural, keme alohu. Exactly. So yeah. And there's also responses that you would like to use for those words. Right. Can I ask you? So boy, yeah. You would say that for like I'm good or I'm perfect. You know what I mean? There's another. There's a different way to say that as well. You could say. Can I ask you? The honey. That means I'm fine. I'm you know, fine. there's there's different ways of repeating these words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most of the time we respond with I'm fine because that's just the easiest thing to say. Unless you're just having a bad day. You if you guys want to greet somebody during the morning, evening, or yeah. night time, you know, there's ways to say good morning. Like, so good morning for a guy would be kame hadget ka, female, kame hadget ki, and then plural, kame hadget kum. Now, it really means how did you sleep? If you do the literal translation, but, but you know, it's like yeah. if you if you know Spanish, you know literal translation, like slang. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like yeah. So this means literally, how did you sleep? But you can use it as good morning. <laughs> so yeah. So if you guys want to say good day, you would say something like buruh ma'alti, and if you would like to say good evening, you would say buruh mishet, and if you wanted to say good night, you would say something like buruh leiti. Right. So I guess brook, it does does it really mean good? It doesn't I mean, mean good. Buruk, that means like blessed, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, but like oh. it's in Tigrinya culture, when they say blessed, that means good. Yeah. Like it's something that they would want you to, you know, to, to have. have. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if you want to know how to say thank you, you would say yik anyale. Yik anyale. Yik anyale. You know, it's it's thank a, you. <laughs> that's how you say thank you. Um you know, if somebody does something nice, it's thing. honest, yeah. And if you want to respond, if I'm responding to a male, if he said yik anyale to me, and I'm responding to a male, I would say genzab ka. If I was responding to a female, if she said yik anyale to me, I would say genzab ki. So that's your welcome, but the female and male version. So yik anyale is thank you, genzab ka is you're welcome for a male, and genzab ki is you're welcome for a female. If you want to say wait a minute. Hold up. Wait. One second, you know. What would you say? Um, Hansab. 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 But if you want to say, mm -hmm. like, wait in a nicer way, you would just say, oh, Hansab, you know, like, one moment. That's a different okay, way. so that was for phrases. Yeah. So, like, now. Those are, like, common phrases. Yeah, common phrases. Use. Yeah. So, if you have an Eritrean friend and you're trying to impress them, you can use those <laughs> phrases. Um, if you want to do it, we can do, like, random words right now. So, like, makina is... Car. <laughs> car. That's me when I'm driving my car. Makina. Makina. It's car. Gaza is house. What we're in right now. Yeah. Gaza. Gaza. Um, hot tea because we drink hot tea a lot. Oh, a lot. That's Shahi. Yeah. Shahi. Shahi. You know, they use that in Arabic culture as well. They say Shahi? Yeah. In Arab? In yeah. Arab? Oh. Um, <laughs> Boon is coffee. We drink a lot of hot coffee as well. Bro, we went to coffee. Yeah. Chogri is right here, baby. It's on top of our head. Okay. Baby hairs. Chogri is hair. Chogri, you know. Okay. Um, manka is spoon. Forketa. Fork. Is a fork. Obviously. You know. Um, <laughs> Not obviously. Kara. I guess she said obviously because it's right after spoon. Yeah, forketa. Yeah. 
Oh, that too. Yeah. Huh? Um, kara is knife. Kara. Oh, yeah, kara. Kubaya is cup. Bikeri is a glass, so like a glass, glass cup. cup. Yeah. Um, mastica is chewing gum. If you guys have chewing gum. Um, and this whole thing on my head. I mean, this whole my whole head is. Rusi. Yeah, Rusi. That's head in Spanish. I mean, whoa, not Spanish. <laughs> it's it's y'all. Y'all know where look, we're Look, I went out of the country <laughs> once and I think I know Spanish. Um, oh, if y'all want to say your eyes, you can say. Aini. Perfect. Aini. You know, it's it's honestly, if you know the words, you would you can tell the similarities. You know what I mean? Like, I, Aini. Mm -hmm. And for your nose, you would you would say, Apincha. Mm -hmm. Correct. For your ears, you would say "isni." For your <laughs> mouth, you would say "af." But like, if you're saying it for a female, you would say "afki." Yeah. For a male, "afka." Yeah. "Afkum." You know, if you want to tell somebody to close your mouth or something. Like everybody, yeah. Yeah, you would in say, your hair. Sydney. Sydney. Ooh. We have How do you say Sydney. tongue again? Malhas. Malhas. That's the tongue. Um, what else was we'll it? Hands. Eid. Eid. You know or you want to say my hands? I'm gonna say Ide. Ide. Yeah, my hands. We have some nice hands. Um, what about um, you know? Ooh, <laughs> feet. Agree. 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 <laughs> Dirty feet. Um, Rusaha. Agree. Dirty feet. Yeah. <laughs> to say dirty, you would say rusa. Yeah, rasa. That means dirty. <laughs> you can call somebody rasa too, like no, for if, real. like as an insult rasa. type of thing. Yeah, rasa. Like. <laughs> If he's just dirty, like if he's a dirty dog or if he's just, he's dirty. Ooh, that's um, something like that, you know, a little bougie. You know, if we're talking about clothes, let's talk about clothes. Oh, clothes. yeah, let's do clothes. Kudan. Kudan. That's how you say clothes. In general, yeah. But if you're talking about, let's say, a shirt. This is a dress, but say it have a shirt. Dress. Well, doesn't dress mean zuria? Nah. Zuria is like our traditional wear. But this is more of like, this material. It's called chiffon. Chiffon. I and just learned that myself. <laughs> this is a Nutella. It's a scarf that we wear. Ooh, this it's is very traditional. Like, very traditional. Very I just came to church today. Chama is shoes. Ooh. Shabet is slippers. Slip. Yeah, or flip flops. Flip flops. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sre is pants. How do you say shirt? Kanetera. Kanetera. Perfect. Now, kanetera is shirt, but if it's like a collar, and more of like a nicer shirt, you would say kamicha. Kamicha. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And jacket is golfo. Right. Golfo. Yeah, golfo. Yeah. Golfo yeah. or something. Kitchen know? is kitchene. Kitchena. Kitchene? Kitchena. Kitchene. Kitchene. That's like not table. Yeah, my kitchen. Oh, okay. Let's say mine. How do you say mine? Ane? No, mine. Like when you're trying to say this is mine. Oh, I don't know. Nate. Oh, nate. I thought, okay, 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 got it. I didn't know. So you for you females out there, if you're trying to say this is my man, you could just say nate sibai. Yeah, sibai means man. Like a man, and then guale means well, That's guale right. means girl, yeah. guale means daughter, and then sebeti sebeti okay. means lady. Yeah, but how do you say like my lady? Okay, wadi is boy, but if you want to say son, like my son, you would say what day. Here's like husband here's boy. honestly like the most thing you're gonna hear a lot of people say like growing like up, what? um, <laughs> like if. We're like, I don't know, but your region is always kind of like identify like by family, like last name. So like, if you ever see like a man, he may ask you, Gual Menehi, meaning who whose are, daughter? whose daughter are you? Because we identify by a father oh, a lot. Yeah. And you say, uh, and you just say your dad's name. Your dad's like, last name. Yeah. Oh no, you should say his full name. I say my dad's full name. So they were like, Gual Menehi. Yeah. I'm like, Berhe, Gual Berhe. <laughs> and we actually call him Gual Daniel. Yeah. And yeah, I, I our dads are you know, best friends. Yeah, <laughs> go figure. So we were forced to be friends. We were forced. <laughs> but I think that ends our session, right? Um, I think so. You forgot to say maakor. Oh, maakor is butt. If you, you guys know. want to know that. Why can't we? We can't teach maakor is boring. Can can't teach them cuss words. No, we're not teaching them cuss words. Okay, we might teach our cuss words in another video. But thank you guys so much for thank you watching guys. and tuning into this tutorial. I know it was a little all over the place, but if you guys like tutorials, like language tutorials let me know i mean this is the only other language that i know besides english so but if you guys want to know like more words and like more detailed conversations let like, me know exactly like there's ways to put these words together yeah so they can sound a little bit like they make more sense yeah i could probably have my dad come on a video or something you know 
Yeah, like ooh. we can get the real OG to get in your speakers. Oh, yeah, we were like born with in the, You know the tongue ways that they say, like. Come oh yeah, there's a lot of pronunciation, yeah. enunciation with the like they use the their throat. tongue muscles a lot, their throat, throat and all that. Yeah, like you know, like you know, like Spanish, you roll, you hear like you roll the R's and stuff. Yeah, like you, like you heard us say words with K's and stuff. Like, yeah, usually there's a lot of yeah, throat. It's, throat. Yeah, it's a throat action. Yeah, so much for watching again. Please tune in um, for another video. I don't know what I'm going to put out next, but um, comment below what videos you guys like to see. Exactly. Thank y'all so much. And a deuces. Say bye, girl. Deuces. Bye, y'all. This is going to be in a blooper area. Today, hide the paper, hide the paper. Today, we're going to be teaching you guys. Okay, sorry. Let's start over. Yeah, I'm deleting that. But I went to church today, so that's why I have on like. Azuria. It's not Azuria, it's a chiffon. Chiffon. That's called chiffon? Yeah, and I have my. It's Ella. This is my family back here, if you guys are wondering. Okay. All right, so you want to know how to say hi? Come here. No. How do you say so, hi? Um, I'm going to delete this. Okay. Okay. Let's go down. Okay. Just, okay. So, what? Okay. For real, tell me. Like, are we just going to say, this is how you say this? Yeah. This is how you say that? Okay, then. Okay. Perfect. So I'm gonna add all that what we just did. Now let's start this. Let's okay. say good day, good evening, good night.